Hey guys, so I've got the Ender 6 in the closet right now. Um, let me go ahead and show you my setup. I'm actually printing out some Christmas presents. Actually, all my printers. I'm printing pretty much all Christmas presents. This is a dragon, you know, one of those um, dragon thingies. I'm going to give it to uh, one of my cousins. Uh, it's printing pretty good. Uh, one of the good things about a closet is you can use this, uh, the, what is it, the, the jacket holder as spool holder just plug it in there go straight down and you got a really good fi filament path so this ender 6 was giving me problems because i couldn't put the spool at the same level so i'll put it on the ground but now that's been solved it's not ball bearing but i'm just printing petchy so i don't really need uh super smooth movement of the spool as long as it's it just keeps feeding it so this is a good way also now my prints are way better because it's completely enclosed like except for the line, it's complete and it's noise free and also keeps all that harmful um, toxic fumes inside the closet. And I know uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I've got all my Prusas in here. Um, I'm actually having some trouble with Z-band with large objects. So uh, one of the problems with Prusa is this Z-axis keeps moving. So I'm, there's a ball bearing mount, so I'm going to Put, it, put that on there and see that improves. Um, so that's that's what it's printing, printing its own parts for itself. Um, I've got this guy printing TPU. Uh, I've got all set up with uh, Octopus Pi, Octopus Pi. This one printing some more, um, more printer parts. This is a new fan shroud for my Ender 6. It's getting kind of old so that's kind of cool. I think it's a great idea to put it inside a enclo uh, closet. Any kind of printer, if it's an open printer, it, you get that enclosure effect. And it doesn't, it, it does vent a little bit, so it doesn't get too hot where it starts melting all your printer parts. Anyway, my Ender 6 closet setup.